Alright, so essentially what happened was, for whatever reason, um, well I know the reason, meh, but the um, system audio didn't get recorded in this recording, so I will, you won't be hearing what I'm talking about in the video. This took me about 30 minutes, freaking, well not even 30 minutes, I mean like an hour to record, and it's gonna take me another hour to edit out all the stuff that I didn't intend for there to be, so yeah, you're gonna have to deal with no system audio. Sorry, sorry, you won't be able to hear the guns, even though they sound fucking awesome. And they don't sound like Call of Duty like MNK Swept's dude. Inconceivable! Hello there everyone, this is Tone, and I'm here doing another weapon mods, or add-on mod spotlight thing for Gary's mod. Yeah, I haven't done one of these in a while. But this one is for the... It's the FAS-2 weapons, sweps, 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 sweat weapons. And um, basically, it has a bunch of pistols, it's got a couple extra things like a knife, an infantry first aid kit, a machete, some grenade launcher slash grenade thingies. And overall, it's actually pretty cool. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the other ones and show them from the blah, 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 blah. Now, I will show that they all have... Um, additions. If you press C, you can get into this additions menu, which like this. It's a three, the three point four x magnification. That's a um like red dot sight, and that's a um thing, and then suppressor, which actually does stuff. And it actually sounds like a real suppressor. And you actually have to reload. Now let's go on to the AK forty seven. It didn't switch. Okay. In my opinion, this mod is so much better than the M9K Sweps because it's so much better. And if you press on reload again, it'll put plus one in the mag. That's basically saying like there was already one in the chamber, now there's 31, basically. Or 30 and 1 chambered. So that was the AK-47, here's the AK-74. You can definitely hear the difference in caliber. Then, one of the things I like about this is it actually has an ammo box. Which you can place down and then grab ammo from. So like, per se, if I was to grab my AK-47. Ammo box. <gasps> Okay, um, don't shoot the ammo boxes. I didn't know it would do that. Okay, so then the AN-94, which also has a very nice zoom-in scope. And if you hold E and then press that, and then press some R, you will change it from like full auto to two or three round burst, semi-auto, and some of the guns actually have a safe mode, but which can easily be toggled off. So yeah, it's got that, which is really nice. Then the DV2, which is a knife. Of course, it's not going to have any of the add-on. Well, let's just go ahead and knife the building. The knife really doesn't do much to buildings. And then the FAMAS, which does a reload animation before it starts. And then that's got these. It basically looks exactly like... Um, some of the weapons that you would have from the, um, it looks like one of the weapons that I've seen off of, like, one of the Call of Duties. Oh, in just a second, the dogs are growling. Okay, after yelling at the dogs to get them to stop growling, uh, let's go ahead and go back to this. This hat basically has the same sight as the FAMAS. Yeah. And so let's go ahead and go on to the G3A3. The G3A3. Now with this gun, I personally prefer it semi-auto, but you know, people can do full auto if they want. This gun has the reflex sight and the um, holographic, and it also of course has the silencer which kind of looks kind of derpy on that. Then a Glock 20, which has the easier to sight in sights. And no recoil! Nice. Then the IMI Desert Eagle, 
I am my Desert Eagle, which also has the sights. I think they need to work on this gun. The IMI Galil, which has that, that, which is a 4x, or basically, yeah, but 3.5x. Then the aim point, and then the EOTech. <laughs> 420 reserve, lol. And then the IMI Uzi. Which is one of my favorite guns, personally, in this, just because it's an Uzi. You can also change the stock, which decreases more recoil. Okay, so let's just go ahead and practice this on the door. Okay, so I'm going to stand back here. Okay, so that's with the default. So that's with the default stock. Definitely a lot better grouping. But then again, the decals end up removing themselves after a while, and you can't change the amount of decals on there. The infantry first aid kit. So yeah, I I really... um, That's really freaking cool. Uh, wait, let's go ahead and fly up, and then... Wah. Oh man, that's so cool. It actually even does a um, thing. Let's go ahead and do some hemostats. Oh my god, this is freaking awesome. Okay, that's actually really freaking cool. And then my one of my favorite um, actual guns, like not just pistol, but actual guns in the game, is this. This has the real sights, but what you do is, unlike just clicking and it automatically pumps, you have to press the reload key to pump it. Which is really freaking cool. And so let's go to the M11A1, which is a bit like the Uzi, but different. It's like the Mac-10. Yeah, it's the Mac-10. Or the Mac-11. And it goes through 20 bullets, or however many bullets it had. No, it goes through 32 bullets in like half a second. God, that's insane. Then the M14, which I absolutely love this gun for sniping, because it's got... Whoa, okay, okay, okay. It has got the sniper scope on it. Oh, and it's also fully auto. Let's go to the M1911, which is my personal favorite pistol in the entire world, next to the M9 Beretta. Yeah. And then the M21, which is a basically a pre-scoped um, semi-auto version of the M of the M14. I think it's got a, I think it's got the same caliber of bullet too. Then the M24, the most well known of all of the snipers, probably. Oh, and you also have to do the bolting thing with this too. Just imagine this mod on servers that have the or that have the um yeah on dark roleplay servers. This would be amazing. And this actually has slug rounds, which you have to actually load in separately, which is really freaking cool. And, just a second, ah, and then it's also got that sight, too, for the slugs. So basically, you can go battlefield on this shit. <laughs> and the M4A1. It's got the 3X, then the aim point, then the EOTech, and the silencer. Now, this house is pretty destroyed, so I'm going to restart, I'm going to um, end this part of the recording and go on to the next part of the recording when I've got the map reset. Okay, now that we're back, I'm going to have to do this twice more because I just realized I have two grenade things to do. Well, maybe just once more if I throw it into the corner. But yeah, basically grenades. Yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> And then grenade launcher, which actually has a lar much larger um, area of effect. Ow. <laughs> Just took out the entire outer panel. One of, one of the coolest things about this is when it explodes. Oh, wait, I gotta reload it. Reload. When it explodes. Ow. It leaves like this smoke trail thing, like it would in real life, which is actually pretty cool. 
God, that's insane. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, I reloaded. I said blah, 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 blah. Get right away! Okay, that did not work like I wanted it to. I wanted it to do this, and I would die, and now I would end the recording. But now that's not funny. But of course, I'm not going to end it. I'm just going to reset the map. Hello, now we're back. Um, I reset the map, and I've got the big boy. The M8... I don't remember what it's called in this. The M82, which is basically the Beretta. Needless to say, if there was a tech standing on the other side of that, he would become Red Mush. Oh, no, okay, it just tells you, so yeah. I've completed, I've completely busted through the entire building with only one magazine. Then the machete, oh, then the machete. I gotta remember, I gotta be patient. And you can actually press right click to do a super special... That was so anticlimactic. But yeah, so this is pretty awesome. Okay. Then we go on to the MP5A5. God! Yeah, stop freezing like that. This actually has a foregrip attachment, which ups or decreases the recoil. And then it's got the silencer and the um, aim point sight. Now with that, you could actually see it because it would go up when you didn't have the thing, but then it didn't go up. Then the MP5K, which actually has a 30 round magazine, which you have to load. Then a silencer. Stupid friggin'. Then the MP555D, MP55D6, which I have actually never... Ah, so it's a pre-silenced. And this house has a foregrip. Quit freezing! I know that my display drivers are gonna crash. Shut up! That whenever it freezes like that, that means that my display drivers are gonna crash. So this does not have any attachments. However, it does tell you the stuff that it's got. Whoa. Okay. Random lag. But this. So it's in semi-auto, safe, full auto. This is a fully automatic pistol. Now let's go on to the P226. The P226 only has a suppressor, but it's very awesome because... Oh, I pressed V. Yeah, it just sounds pretty cool. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and go on to the PP19 Bison. This has the barrel and the aim point, or the, um, meh, the silencer and the aim point. And it has 50 bullets in a magazine! I'm going to ignore the freezing. This actually has the scope, which is about two times as big as the revolver. God. So yeah, that's got a sniper scope, and this is also a double action revolver too. It's either safe or double action, there's no such thing as safe on those. And then of course, so it's got the MK4 and then the Comp M4. And then the Remington 870. Actually, you know, I'll admit, I like this a lot better than the KS-23. Cause only because it has eight bullets in the magaz or in a magazine, yeah. And it doesn't have any attachments. Okay, let's go on to the RPK-47. This is basically the AK-47 in LMG form. And something about LMGs in this is... Aha. Okay, so... If I get right here, I can actually deploy it. When it's not freezing. And there's substantially less um, recoil. Okay. Now let's go on to the Sako RK95. I have no idea what this gun is. I really don't. This is the only gun I've never heard of. Yep, sounds like a gun. And then the SG-550. I love all the SG guns. SG makes amazing guns. 
The one that's after this is my personal favorite of theirs, which is the 552. The 552 is my favorite. Oh, right, I put a 30 round magazine in here, which means I have to reload. Okay. Then, the 552. I absolutely freaking love this gun. This is basically the 550, but sh short barrel. Just think of this as like a carbine or something. But yeah, that's the aim point, if you didn't already know. And let's go on to the SKS, the Russian. Well, I think it's Russian, but the uh, the, AS the SKS. It's either got a um, 10 round, 20 round, or 30 round. It's got sights for it, and a, and a silencer. And I have to reload the 30. All the reloading animations look amazing. Especially for Gary's mod. This only has safe and semi-auto. Then let's go into the SR25. This only has the suppressor. Sounds pretty cool. And then finally, last but not least, the Taz, the Taz 34. Which is a double barrel shotgun. This is absolutely freaking awesome. And the coolest thing is... He does that. With it. It's so realistic. Like, for something in Gary's mod, this is the most realistic mod ever. Like, the gun mod ever. I mean, this is much better than the M9K Swepps. Definitely much better than the M9K Swepps. Sorry, inconceivable, but this, seriously, this is so much better than the M9K Swepps. Do something like this, and maybe I'll say it's good. And, I, and just to think, the M9K Swifts are still good. They aren't bad in any way, but this just happens to be better. Now, for a finale, I figured I would see if I can shoot the M79 up in the air and have it come back down, or if it just hits the skybox. Is that seriously where the skybox is? Oh my god, this map is small! Okay, let's. what happens when I try to shoot it underwater? Whoa. Whoa, wait, what? Okay. Let's just sink down to the bottom. Ah, oh, you can't fire it in the water. What happens when I fire it like that? It doesn't explode. Hmm. Dinky. All right. I'm going to get the flat grass. The flat grass? Flat. Yeah, God, that doesn't sound right anymore. I haven't said it in forever. I'm going to get the flat grass map, and I'm going to shoot up in the air and see if I can't explode myself. All right. We're back on the GM flat grass. Well, actually, it's GM flat build PB something else after that. Wow. Okay. I see it. It's coming down. It's coming down. It's coming down. Yes, you can in fact blow yourself up with the M79 grenade launcher. That's pretty cool. Goodbye, everyone.